Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bulldogs looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First, try not to give up any good looks from the outside. Second of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. And off the mark. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Down inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He launches the bomb. Not there. The point guard with the ball. Both teams looking to get things going here. They go into the low block. Dickey's going to go up. He made the duck plus an opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a duck and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. At the foul line. Sinks it. The shooting guard gets the ball. Tries for two. Buried it. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Can't get the shot to go. He shoots from the angle. Nice shot. That's basic. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Now trying to feed the low block. Number 24 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Number 42, pump fakes. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. alley -oop. trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Working around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Tickles a twine. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Trying to feed the low block. They work it back to the outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Defense giving some room. Tries one from three-point land. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. 
Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Strips the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball, makes the shot. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. The shooting guard gets the pass. Two in and out. Number two takes the pass. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Nice to have you along with us tonight. This is Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. On the outside. The point guard takes the feed. Now the high screen. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the line. Gets his first. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. That's a nine zip run. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't. He blocks the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Easy one. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Both teams things going here. In the paint. Jumps in. He gets it to go. Number three makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Foul shot is not good. Second shot is good. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He does the sweet fake shot, executes the baby hook. They let him get into a rhythm. up for two and he missed this is what you're supposed to do down low go up strong I tell you, that was great post play clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal Dick how's he working him defensively I tell you, he's trying to front right now you got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help side Now the turnaround jump. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Up and inside. For two. And off the mark. With the fake. They move it into the front court. A nice look at the basket. Right at the circle. Off the rim and no good.
Great anticipation defensively. Pushes it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Way off target. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number 31 gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Both free throws go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The frustration right there. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Let's it fly. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. This is great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Wide open for the shot from the top of the key. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. They're working around the perimeter. On the top of the circle. Down the three. Here's the replay. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Number 22 steps to the line for the first time. He missed it. Gets the second shot. On the outside. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number two takes it away. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? They work the perimeter. They work it around the arc. He's got a nice shot fake. He shoots from long range. Sinks the shot. Steals a pass. Gave it up. He's got an open look for the shot. Off the rim and no good. Pushing that basketball. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Got the shot if he wants it. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Mm -hmm. 
The fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He puts up the tray. The shot's off target. Turns it over. Fake. High post flashes for the ball handler. Tightly guarded for the bucket. And in and out. Trying to draw the foul. He was out of position on that double. The wrong guy might have stepped up. Up and inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. circle he makes the shot let's look at it again picked out of the air on the dribble gives it up and the ball goes out of bounds you talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. High post player flashing on the inside. Gonzaga have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven nice just yet, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Steel defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. He hits it. for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Number 22 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? And he'll kick it back outside. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Unloads. It sticks. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Poor shooting behind that arc lately, Dick. Yeah, they can't seem to find their stroke yet, Brad. Good fake. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. 
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Side. He goes for three. He gets the bucket to fall. <laughs> Looking around the perimeter. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you help, you can take that pass away. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to go. He intercepts it. Looking for contact. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He hammers it home. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. From long range. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Knocks it down. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fakes the jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Working around the perimeter. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that pass away. Anticipating really well. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. At the end of the first half, the Jayhawks are ahead by two. Well, Mr. Vitale, is there a play that stands out as the EA Sports play of the half? The player nailing a shot at the buzzer is my halftime highlight. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Gonzaga has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. 
Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Erin. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Dumps it in. Puts it on the floor and up and under. In and out. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He shoots way off target. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. The small forward handles the feed. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Three-pointer. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. For two, rims out. Up and in. Oh, my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby. On the outside, he unloads. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks can cure. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The point guard handles the pass, fakes it. He strips him clean. The center receives the pass. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He comes away with it. Length of the floor for the bucket and in and out. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Makes the shot. That's a 9-0 run. Momentary look from three-point land. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Second shot is good. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. For 
for two. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. In the paint. Tries for two. And off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Great shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. The small forward receives the ball. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Gonzaga is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Takes a three. Off the rim and no good. Steal. From beyond the arc. He gets the bucket to fall. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Takes the pass in the paint. Easy one. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he missed. For two. Can't get the shot to go. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's a double team waiting there. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. Accepts it, pushes it for the bucket, and in and out. Gave it up. There's the fake for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Accepted. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. They're working around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. He nails the bucket. Nice fake. Jump hook from the low block. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Goes 
comes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion picks off the lazy pass gave it up jumped in front to take it away Tries for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Working it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. Way off target. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team, get the flow. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jump hook from the low post. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. Moving it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Pump fakes. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Steve pass. For the deuce. That was nice. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Jumps into the defender. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Gave it up with the catch. Nice ex basket and the harm for the senior. He's got a big time harm, baby. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number 42 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Ouch. Screen set hard on the defender. 
Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. On the outside, cross court. three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great defense. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And a momentary look from three-point land. He takes it away. On the outside. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Makes it. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He's open if he wants the shot. He fires from long range. Rims out. The Bulldogs will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. <laughs> For the bucket. And he misses the shot. They work the perimeter. On the dribble. Gives it up. High post screen. So effective that screen. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. Yeah, and I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint for two finger roll gave it up and that's going to be an offensive foul for sure what a great job defensively what a super job great footwork and he really draws the charm say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They'll work it around the arc and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. 
High post flashes. That's a nice fake. With the shot. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Robs him of the ball. Here they are on the break. Number three is pounded on his way up. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. It's good. Kansas are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. They work it around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They've left him completely alone. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. Let's see what they set up, Dick. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's basic. Number 15 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Picks off the pass. Double team now, bad angle. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Time has been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. I think she's right about that, Rachel. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. Up and inside. Open look. He throws it up from downtown. Timeout. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure. Back to the live action we go.
Shot clock is dead. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. He shoots from downtown. He grabs the rebound. Launches a prayer. Rims out. The temperature rises as this one goes to overtime. Hey, even the fans are exhausted in here, Brad. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. NCAA tournament, and we're in overtime. Two evenly matched teams. They played well throughout. Extra session coming up, Richard. You can't ask for more than this. I'll tell you one thing. The excitement's unbelievable. Place is rocking and rolling. It's surviving advance, and you better make big plays right now. You better get more momentum on your side in the OT. Shoots off target. On the outside. Way out on top. He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with great anticipation for the rejection. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. And in and out. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shit. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. To the line. He can't get one to fall. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. He attempts a jump hook. He can't get the bucket to fall. They're working around the perimeter. For the deuce. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Takes the pass in the paint. He pump fakes. There they come with a double team to stop it. And off the mark. Picked off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you gotta protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. Steal. There's a steal. He takes the shot. Comes up empty. Tries 
to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Goes up for two. Sinks it. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. No rebounding that. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. Number 22 is receiving great praise from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the second shot. They'll take a timeout right here. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Shot clock is dead. Shoots from the outside. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. There's the trap. Stolen ball. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Jayhawks is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids...